with your permission, I'd like to make a statement. About the proposed definition will hold that extremism is the promotion or advancement of an ideology based on violence, hatred or intolerance that aims to negate or destroy the fundamental rights and freedoms of others or undermine, overturn or replace the UK system of liberal parliamentary democracy and democratic rights or intentionally create a permissive environment for others to achieve these results. It is important to stress that we are in no way intending to restrict freedom of expression, religion or belief. But the government cannot be in a position where, unwittingly or not, we sponsor, subsidise or support in any way organisations and individuals opposed to the freedoms we hold dear. The new definition will strengthen vital frontline counter-radicalisation work and the new centre of excellence will... As our new definition makes clear, extremism can lead to the radicalisation of individuals, deny people their full rights and opportunities, suppress freedom of expression, incite hatred, weaken social cohesion and ultimately it can lead to acts of terrorism. Most extremist materials and activities are not illegal. And across this House, I am sure that we would agree that organisations such as the British National Socialist Movement and Patriotic Alternative, who promote neo-Nazi ideology, argue for forced repatriation, a white ethnostate and the targeting of minority groups for intimidation, are precisely the type of groups about which we should be concerned and whose activities we will assess against the new definition. The activities of, these extreme right, of the extreme right wing are a growing worry. The targeting of both Muslim and Jewish communities and individuals by these groups is a profound concern requiring concerted action, as well as a very significant increase in radicalisation. Troublingly, organisations such as the Muslim Association of Britain, which is the British affiliate of the Muslim Brotherhood, and other groups such as CAGE and MEND give rise to concern for their Islamist orientation and views. We will be holding these and other organisations to account to assess if they meet our definition of extremism and will take action as appropriate. I wish to commend those doing so much to counter prejudice. In working with civil society, it's it is of course gravely concerning that the conflict in the Middle East is driving further polarisation. We've seen a terrible increase in anti-Semitic and anti-Muslim hate crime, as well as a very significant increase in radicalisation. Troublingly, there is also evidence that some Islamists and extreme right-wing groups and others who seek to tear our society apart are working together to maximise the reach of their message and cause. In the case, Mr Justice Haddon Cage conducted his own scrutiny.